Hey YouTube, welcome to uh, another Rocket League video. Today, as you could probably see in the title, we're going to be talking about crates uh, in Rocket League. Uh, crates, how to get them, um, how likely you are to get them, how often they come, what kinds of crates you're going to get, and if there's any way to get crates outside of just playing the game. So, to start the video, um, I know a lot of people had this question, and uh, I guess I'll just point it out straight from the beginning. You cannot get crates outside of Rocket League. You cannot go into the Steam Market and search up any item for Rocket League. Rocket League is not part of the Steam Community Market, nor is it part of any external market for like Xbox One or PS4. What you get in Rocket League has to be filtered through Rocket League. So the only way to get items that you don't have in Rocket League, if you're not just playing the game, is trading somebody. You, that's the only way that you're gonna get items other than just playing the game. In terms of crates, um, how often do you get crates? Crates drop randomly. You cannot buy crates. You cannot get crates unless you play the game. You can play the game and get crates as a random drop or you can trade them. You cannot buy them on the market and you cannot even buy them from Psyonix. You have to play and get crates through a game. So that being said, crate drops are semi-rare. You will get them about every 10 games. There's no like confirmed percentage drop chance, but from what I've noticed and from a, what a lot of other people have been talking about um, on YouTube, on Reddit, on a bunch of different websites, is that crates um, in Rocket League, they just drop once every like 10 games. There's no fixed amount where after eight games you'll get it, after 20 games you'll get a crate, after X games you'll get a crate. It's completely random. Some people will play 40 games and they won't get a crate and some people will get three crates back to back to back in a row Rocket League crates come from online matches so you could play uh, dual double standard chaos any of the online matches they don't have to be ranked um, and there's no difference in getting a crate from a competitive or just a casual playlist um, you are not more likely to get any one of the crates like get crate one crate two or crate three um, that I know of right now However, you can, unlike crates, you can buy keys. So to buy keys, you just go to garage, you go to manage inventory, and then you can buy keys. The fastest way to get crates, it's really just through playing. I know a lot of people will tell you, do this, this, and this in a game, get more goals, get more assists. Really, the fastest way is to just play more. Like, it kind of sucks that that's how it is, and that you can't go on the Steam market and buy crates, but that's kind of just... I guess how the game functions right now, but as of right now, you just have to play to get crates or trade your friends. Obviously, if you have friends that aren't going to ever buy keys and they're like, I'm not going to pay more for this game, um, you can ask them. That's a great way. If you have friends who are just like, just come on to play the game once every like week or two with you and they're like, I have three crates and I don't want them. Sure, ask for them. Um, I won't ramble on for too long. But yeah, that's the general idea with crates and Rocket League and keys. If you do have any more questions, like I said, comment down below. Um, like this video if you're new to the channel and subscribe. Um, it really helps. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.